In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update your directory listing. After you've logged in, whatever page you're on, you will have access to this My Profile button at the top of the page. So click on that and click Edit My Profile. This will put you into your profile page. You have a button at the top and on the bottom that says Directory Search. Those two will just take you back to the directory. Also notice that you have a number of add and edit buttons. They seem to be scattered around the page, but actually they're placed across from the directory item that you can either edit or add to. This top edit button is directly across from your directory information here, and you can edit that. The add button here is across from the mailing address, and this is where you can add an address where you might want your snail mail sent if this address isn't the one that you want to use. Add This ad is across from contacts. If you have someone else living in your home, like a, a child, you can add them to your listing. This edit button is across from your contact information, which you can edit. You can add information about your pets and you can add emergency contacts. So let's start by editing our directory information. On this page right here, you only have two things that you can modify, and that is this checkbox, and you can add a photo if you like. This directory listing information over here is put in by management, and if something is wrong with it, you can contact management and let them fix that for you. So this checkbox for public here, that is so that your information will be seen, but public in this case just means the rest of the community. This is going to be a community address book, and your information will just be seen by your um, friends and neighbors in the community. So I want to be seen, so I'm going to leave that part checked. Click here to add a picture. You can add a photo. Let's click, and you'll end up with a box here that is prompting you to select your files which will put you into a browser for your computer. I happen to have the photo right on my desktop. Here's my photo. Now, if you notice this photo here is 500 by 600 pixels. That's much larger than you need, but it doesn't matter how large your photo is. It'll be resized when you bring it in. But what you don't have access to do here is to crop your photo. So if you want your photo cropped, you need to do that in your um, photo software before you bring it in. Let's click open and we will automatically come back here and our photo is listed. We need to upload it. And there it is. We have the option of putting a caption underneath it. I'll just add that and since I'm done I will save. I don't need to change my mailing address, that's fine. Don't need to add any contacts. Let's edit the rest of our profile here. Now, the security role and the contract role, just leave, leave that alone. You are here, are at the highest um, available security role. You want to leave that. The um, title right here, let's see, let's use give ourselves a title. I'm going to leave middle name empty. This is all information for the rest of the community to see. Let's add our birthday. There we go. And maybe some interests. Designated voter is not being used, so you can leave that blank or check it, it really won't matter. Now, this part's kind of important right here. Your email address should already be here. You can add information into work or home, into these boxes. It can either be, it can be an email address or it can be a phone number, it doesn't matter. But what I want to add is my cell phone number. So let's see what some of these other options are that I have. I do have all these other options, things that I can add in. So I'm going to click cell phone start a cell phone number and that is now selected checkbox for public again 
I'm just going to leave everything checked for there. Now my communication preferences. The suggestion is for you to add messenger at at home.net come to your address book because you will be getting messages through the website. Um, you'll be getting um, e-blasts from Terry and possibly emails from your from your club or from the discussion groups and this helps make sure that they don't go into uh, aren't uh, designated as spam or go into your junk mail. So your let's see for all of your general correspondence indicate what you would like to, the way you'd like to have it email or Email without photos would be email text only. The other options that you have here indicate whether you would like to be notified when there is some activity in one of the discussion groups. So here are all of the discussion groups that we have available right now. And I think I'm pretty interested in general discussions and then movie and book discussions. So I'm going to click those two. Clicking here does not mean that those are the only discussions that you can participate in. It merely means that those are the discussions that when there is some activity in them, you will get notified. So let's save all our changes here. See what else we can do. Pets. Let's add our pet. Pet name and birth date. and a description if you like, and we'll add a photo the same way that we did for our photo. Select files, go into our own browser, choose our picture, open it, upload it, and give it a caption. Okay, let's save our right there. The last thing you have are emergency contacts. You can put in any names and uh, either an email or a telephone number here. And if you like, uh, you can display them in the directory. That's up to you. So now let's see what our directory listing looks like. Here's what anyone looking at the whole directory will see uh, with a photo over there. And when someone who is interested in finding out some more information about you clicks on more, they will see this, but since it is not their listing, all of the edit and add buttons will be gone. This is how it will look. That's all there is to it.